you think of uh, you know Goldberg, Edge, Roman Reigns, Ron Breaker, Bobby Lashley. I mean, all these guys did a great job with it. But some other some some spears look better than others. Hi, this is Sean Stasiak, former WWE and WCW wrestler. Uh, I am going to view WWE's SmackDown roster, uh, some various talent. Uh, I do watch the show from time to time. All right, SmackDown roster, WWE SmackDown. We're going to start with Austin Theory. Now, I'm familiar with Austin Theory. I've seen him. I've watched him. But we're going to watch him again. We're going to watch his finish. The A-Town Down. Here we go. He wants to go there. A-Town Down. To retain the champions. Okay. Austin Theory's A-Town Down. I got to say, overall, it looks pretty devastating. It reminds me of an F5 from Brock Lesnar with just an added knee there. I guess almost a go to sleep from CM Punk, you you know, reminded me of that. But uh, I would say that the move, he could give that pretty much to most the roster, but then can he give it to like the really super big dudes, giants, huge dudes, right? That are real heavy, that might be kind of difficult. That would be my only, you know, critique on that as far as that might, he might run into a problem with that particular move. As far as taking it, the safety of it, it all depends on where he places that knee at the end. If he catches him under the chin or in the face, it could be pretty devastating. So it really is the placement of the knee and the person taking it, the timing of it is really important that they they, they mesh up right. So, so it looks devastating, it looks realistic, uh, but yet everyone is safe. Uh, but overall, it looks devastating when it's done right. I gotta give that a four and a half out of five as far as uh, devastation and an overall star rating. All right, the next one, we're gonna go to AJ Styles. The Styles Clash, so here we go. And now for a third time, for a third time, AJ Styles! Styles Clash! This time. Down goes okay, I've seen AJ Styles Clash, or Styles Clash, rather, many times. You know, honestly, I'm not overly impressed with the move, and that's nothing against AJ Styles. I met him one time backstage at TNA, nice guy, great talent. But as far as his finishing move, I just think that the guy taking it looks like it's too cooperative. There's too much him wrapping his arms around the leg and it just doesn't look natural or it looks like the guy's working with, with AJ, or, you know, in, in, in the video that I saw. And I don't think it's overly devastating, honestly. It's not a big impact, but it works. I think you can do that to most people. It looks pretty safe. Uh, so overall, though, I'm going to give the Styles Clash a three out of five rating. So next one, we're doing Bobby Lashley with the spear. Immediately back to his feet. Ali trying to will himself oh, on. Spear. Good Lord. Yeah, uh, Bobby Lashley's spear. I, I like it, man. I mean, I've seen it a million times. Edge, Goldberg, there's been many others, you know, that have used the spear, Roman Reigns. But the way that Bobby uh, sets it up and the way that he runs into it, uh, you know, and, and connects, it looks it looks realistic. It looks devastating. He's such a great athlete that he's able to even put a little extra body twist in, on himself as he's, you know, executing the move. But overall, I think it looks great as far as safety. It just as long as he's taking care of the guy and not, you know, protecting his opponent. I think for the most part, it's, it looks pretty safe. It looks pretty devastating. I'm going to give that a... a a four out of five. Next one is Braun Breaker with the spear, another spear. And this could be the beginning of the end. Oh, thanks for coming, Mr. Chen. Okay, his spear looks good. You know, it's one of those things with the spear, it depends on, he's trying to back off to protect his opponent a little too much. It doesn't look that devastating. It looks like it's, you know, choreographed, right? The key with the spear, the art is to make it look like he just ran the guy over, like he drove his shoulder into his rib cage or his stomach or just mowed him over without hardly touching him, right? That's that's the the art of it. But there's timing, it's, it's placement, it's a, a lot of factors. Some of the spears that I saw didn't look as good as others, but overall, he looked good. I think, again, I think it's a pretty safe, you know, move to execute, but it can be very dangerous too if if you're not careful. So 
Overall, though, I, I'm going to give that also a four out of five. Dragon Lee is the next talent that I'm going to take a look at here on his finishing move. And there it is! Oh! Operation Dragon! Operation Dragon. Okay. Very athletic, but too cooperative for me, for his opponent. For that to be pulled off, his opponent has to really swing him up, and it looks too cooperative. It looks like the Circus Olay act to me. Again, I don't know the guy. Great athlete, great spectacle, but I'm not a fan. Again, two out of five star on Dragon Lee and on the Operation Dragon. Next is Grayson Waller, and we're going to look at his finish here. Okay, now let's see here. Grayson Waller, I didn't realize how athletic he was to jump from the floor into the uh, first and second rope, rolls in, rolling thunder stunner. It makes sense because it's basically just a more athletic Stone Cold Steve Austin stunner, a Stone Cold stunner, right? Just an athletic version with some uh, added athleticism to it. It looks great, uh, it looks safe. You can do it to anybody. And uh, I think everyone that I saw, I thought looked great. So I'm gonna give him a 4.7 out of five. We're gonna go to Kevin Owens next. And this is the stunner. And I've seen this before a few times. Look at this dude, stunner! 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 Okay, so Kevin Owens stunner. I've seen it before. It's very similar to Stone Cold Steve Austin stunner, the Stone Cold stunner, but Hey, there's only one original. There's only one Stone Cold Steve Austin. Often imitated, never replicated, as that you know, as the saying goes. Um, no, I, I mean it's, it's it's a stunner. What can I say? It, you know, you can do it to anybody. It looks safe. It is safe. You know, for the most part. I'm gonna give it though a three out of five stars. La Knight is the next one. Let's go here, La Knight. That restraining order lifted. LA All right, so La Knight's. BFT, uh, I would say, you know, again, it looks very safe, uh, easy to take, easy to give, and it looks it looks devastating. It looks good. It looks like a, a modified uh, diamond cutter, you know, that's, that's what it reminds me of. So overall, I, I think it looks good the way that he executes it and, and the varying uh, talents that he, he's uh, executed it on uh, have different selling techniques at which some I like better than others so it really depends on how the person sells it but if it's if it's connected right and sold right it looks pretty cool man so I'm going to give it a four out of five Pete Dunna with the bitter end here we go Uncorking yeah. The right hand from Hades. Hand yeah it's pretty cool it's it's definitely different it's a, it reminds me of a cross between a pump handle slam you'd see that from uh Brian Clark as Chronic, one half member of Chronic that I feuded against in WCW uh, when he teamed up with Brian Adams and faced my tag team partner, Chuck Palumbo in WCW. But basically it looks like a pump handle slam, but it's turned into almost like a modified diamond cutter. It looks safe. I would say that it's easy to give. He's a, now this is a smaller, you know, depending on, on the size of the opponent. I, I see that might be a difficult maneuver to you know accomplish uh, on like a giant like a real big big heavy person so but overall i thought it looks good i mean i'd say four out of five stars randy orton good old randy let's go rko we're gonna take a look at this yeah. i mean what can i say it's it's legendary you know, it's safe to take, it's safe to give. He, and he's such, Randy's such a great worker and a great talent and just a great athlete. Uh, and he just, he, I like the way he gets so elevated up in the air. So it's, it's again, it's, a, it's a, a modified diamond cutter, you know, in essence. But the way that he, you know, sets it up and, and, and the anticipation built up, you know, with the crowd and the timing of it and just, or sometimes just coming out of nowhere and hitting it, he can hit it from, any place, anytime, anywhere. Uh, it's devastating. It's classic. It's a, it's a great move. So I'm gonna give him 4.8 out of five stars. Randy Orton's RKO. Next wrestler, Rey Mysterio. Let's see here what Rey's got going. It's called a 619. How did I know? I think we all know. Here we go. Into the turnbuckle. Mysterio! Hey, 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 hey! Come on, this has got a bad leg! Hit it! Wait. 
Yeah, it looks awesome. I've always loved that move. It, it's easy to give for Ray. It's easy to take. And as long as Ray's taking care of it, not kicking the guy in the head too hard, right? But I mean, I, Ray, I work so light and so awesome. He's just a great talent. And that move is uh, is legendary and he can do it to anybody. So, uh, man, I haven't given anyone a five out of five yet, but I'm getting real, I'm gonna give Ray a 4.9 out of five stars on the 619. Next uh, wrestler, Roman Reigns. Let's look at Roman Reigns. And this is the spear, of course. Okay, here we go. Spear, Kevin Owens met him with a kick. Stunner! Oh! Yeah, another spear, man. I mean, it looks good. It really does. I think with all these spears, uh, you know, you you think of uh, you know Goldberg, uh, Edge, Roman Reigns, Braun Breaker, Bobby Lashley. I mean, all these guys did a great job with it. But some other some some spears look better than others. Just like any finisher looks better than others on some nights. Uh, on any given night, it can look better than another night, right? But when it's done right set up the speed in which he's running towards the guy uh you know and then the way that he delivers it the way that the guy takes it as far as the timing of the bump the, the placement the the timing like everything as long as they don't the guy taken doesn't get hurt uh and pulls that off and it looks like it just crushed his rib cage and knocked the air clean out of his body for the one two three pin that's a successful spear uh, i've seen numerous clips uh, of the spear from Roman Reigns and, and it looks devastating, it looks great and you can do it to anybody from a midget to a giant and anybody else in between. So um, I'm going to give him a 4.7 out of out of 5. Now next uh, talent is Sheamus. I haven't seen Sheamus in a while. Where is Sheamus these days? Let's take a look at his finish. The blow kick. Looks devastating, man. Kicks the guy right in the face. You know, it's like it's, uh, again, a modified uh, version of a big boot to the face, right? But just a little extra ump to it. You can give that to anybody. Uh, it, uh, is it safe to take? I don't know. It just depends on the person giving it, right? Is, is Seamus known to be stiff? I think he is. I mean, it's one thing to be snug or stiff, but is he dangerous? And I don't know. I really don't know. But in just in general, professional wrestling lingo or terminology but it looks devastating it looks great so i overall though i'm gonna say man that's a that's a 4.5 out of five star rating that's uh sheamus's bro kick all right next one is sola sokoa let's take a look at koa's finishing move on yeah. jimmy uso within the bloodline you know, laying I'm out smiling John because it reminds me of uh, yeah, the Samoan Spike. I love the concept of it. Uh, it reminds me of my late great father, Stan the Man Stasiak, with his taped right fist and laid in that heart punch as his finishing move, right? It's very similar. The difference is he's got this thumb taped up. What's in that tape? Is it really his thumb? Is there something else? Is there some kind of metal device or plate in there somehow? I don't know. You know, the big rumor with my dad, Stan Stasiak, was. He had a silver dollar taped in his uh, right fist. Did he? Maybe. Maybe not. Probably never know. I don't even know. Okay, but I don't know. But as far as the devastating move, it I think when it's pulled off right, it looks great. I noticed that when he does give it, um, there's a couple times he came a little bit low with it. I think he's trying to hit the guy right in the right in the throat, right in the jugular, right, right in the. Or the carotid artery. I guess that's the concept. Me being a chiropractor, I'm going to get a little terminology on you. But uh, he's hitting him right there in the throat. A couple times, he's a little bit low, like on the chest. Hey, that could work too, right? Use your imagination. Hey, it's professional wrestling. But uh, I'm going to give it a 4.3 out of 5. Uh, anybody can take it. It looks safe as long as he's not really stiffing people with it, right? He's not really jamming his thumb in your throat. I'm being really critical eye here but overall it's devastating and it, it, it's a great finish and i really like it the next one we're going to go with is santos escobar don't know a whole lot about him but we're going to look at his finish and now this one is the phantom driver with santos escobar this is his finishing move let's take a look i back escobar every time escobar with the running knees theory's in trouble escobar's got him up the phantom driver escobar 
Yeah, it looks good, man. That's a good move. A uh, couple things. It kind of reminds me of a Kurt Angle. I, went up, I guess uh, the, the Angle Slam, right? It, it, but just with a little bit more ump, a little bit more a modified version of Kurt, Kurt Angle's Angle Slam. He sets it up almost like an F5, you know, modifies it with a little bit of an ump uh, of a Kurt Angle Slam. So it looks a little more devastating than the Angle Slam. No disrespect to Kurt Angle, but I like that for that reason. I would say that, and it seems pretty safe, but it's very important that he places the guy, you know, safely, not on his head, not too high up on his neck. Uh, being a chiropractor, you know, I look at the uh, professional wrestling a whole different way now. You know, you get into the, the real, real heavyweights, right? You might have a, it might be a difficult to pull that off. But overall, I'm going to give it a four out of five star. Bailey, let's see, what is her finishing move here? continue to argue outside the ring. Oh, pretty Bailey simple, plants, man. Ruby face. So the rose plant by Bailey, I have to say it's pretty simple. It's very easy to perform and execute. It'd be easy to take. Uh, I think just the timing would need to be important just to make sure it looks devastating. You still got to protect your opponent, even though it's not, it's, it, they're not, it's not a big impactful move. Like, you know, you're not up in the air. You're not having to really bump other than you're already bent over, right? And you're just taking a small, it's almost like taking the famous or from Billy Gunn. You're already bent over and you're taking his, you know, comes up with the leg and boom. It's just, it's a small distance between where the face starts and where it ends, which is in the mat. I like it. I think it looks great. It's simple. It's easy. She can do it to anybody. And uh, it looks devastating. I'm going to give it a, I don't know, four out of five, 4.5 out of five stars for, for Bailey's Rose Plant. Next one, Bianca Belair. Let's take a look at Bianca. Wait, what? Okay, so Bianca Belair's uh, KOD, Kiss of Death. Um, it looks good, you know? It, it it really boils down to, you know, it's important for the person taking it that they land flat and take that bump correctly. You know, it, it, that's one of those types of finishers that it takes a double cooperation there, right? I mean, every, every finish takes a cooperation, but what I mean by that is, depending on how the person actually takes that bump, is gonna reflect the, the quality of that finish that, that particular night. So phenomenal athlete. I don't know how actually strong she is. She seemed pretty strong though. Would she have a hard time doing that with someone like uh, Nia Jax though? That's another question I'd have. I don't know, maybe she can do it. Maybe she already has. It's, uh, it's, it's a challenging finish for her. She's gotta be strong and she's gotta be coordinated, but she's such a great athlete. And I think she's got all the tools to, to pull that off on pretty much anybody. But I'd like to see her pull that on Nia Jax. I'm gonna give her a, a 4.4 out of five stars. All right, next one is Charlotte Flair. And we're gonna look at her figure eight leg lock submission. Oh, now Charlotte Flair's going for it. Charlotte Flair, bridging into the figure eight. How much can Trish endure? And Trish... You know, I'm such a fan of, of old school and just traditional, you know, Ric Flair, uh, just the, the, the good old classic figure four leg lock. But, you know, really, Charlotte just took it up one one step further and uh, added that bridge in there to call it the figure eight leg lock submission. And uh, it looks like, you know, with added pressure and leverage to enforce on your opponent's uh, kneecaps and joints and hips makes it that much more devastating, doesn't it? So she can do that to anybody. It's safe. I would imagine it's safe. I imagine it doesn't feel... Try putting your, your you know, your brother or your sister, be careful now, in, in a figure four, one of your friends in a figure four. It hurts, man. That really hurts. That can really mess you up. Actually, I take that back. Don't do that. Don't try that at home, kids. But uh, yeah, I think it looks uh, it looks great. It's it's safe, and and it's easy to perfect and um, or execute. So I'm gonna give Charlotte a uh, four point four out of five star uh, rating. All right, Eo Sky is next. Moonsault, Eo Sky. I've seen this before. She does it really. The champion, Eo Sky, over Ooh, the moonsault and the cover. So, you know, it's a moonsault, right? We've seen them a million times uh, and then some. I think with the moonsaults, like the ones I saw from Eo, is it just depends on her rotation and timing because uh, on the first one I saw, her knees, that was stiff. She might have 
she could have injured somebody. You can really mess somebody up if your knees hit them anywhere, you know. In this case, probably most likely in her, in her chest area or stomach, right? The person taking the, the, the finish. You, you could hit them in the face with the those knees coming around, you know, that that, that would even be more devastating. But uh, but if they're too over-rotated, it doesn't look as impactful as it could be. So really, it's a fine balance. It's, it's, it's really the placement uh, when she comes around to time it. You got to protect your opponent, of course, but to make it look like you protect your opponent, it's safe for the opponent taking it, but but it looks devastating. The placement of the body is important. If they're over-rotated, it doesn't look that devastating because most of the weight and impact was taken on their knees. And, and if they don't rotate enough, then their knees can, and their legs can really stiff the opponent. So it's a, it needs to be centered and it needs to be, you know, chest on chest, but also breaking the, the, the bump, the fall to protect the opponent. So it, it's devastating, but yet protect your opponent. It's timing, it's placement. It, it's a difficult move. Uh, otherwise, it's just a, another moonsault that I've seen. But I'm going to give that a, a three and a half out of five. Okay, Naomi, next one. I mean, it's a, it's another moonsault. It's an RVD, I guess. Is it? I, I'm not sure if that's called. If his move's called the split-legged moonsault, I think it is. And it's, I don't think it's a finish. I think it's just a, uh, just a, a, a move in his arsenal that he, he has as offense. But I mean, it looks good. I don't know if it is a great, solid, strong finish, but. You know, that's her finish, right? So again, same scenario, over rotation, uh, not rotated enough. Some look better than others. It's it's one of those things you want to pull it off right and make it look devastating. I think for the most part, it seems safer and less impactful to the opponent. So overall, I'm, I'm you know, safe to take. Well, it, if it's done right, if it's not, it can be, you know, it can be dangerous. Um, but it looks like you can do it to anybody. And for the most part, it looks safe but I'm gonna give it a, a 3.8 out of five. Okay, so that was fun. Got to see the WWE SmackDown rosters, uh, some of the talents finishes, uh, that, was, that was fun. Join me next time. But next time we're gonna get into WWE Raw's superstars and their finishes. And I'm gonna give a rating and a perspective there as well. So join me next time. Until then, take care, be safe. God bless, adios for now.